Evan here from Mile Lab. Today we're going to talk about a straight arm lat pull down using a band. So first off, find anywhere where you can attach a band strongly. Don't do it to something that you might pull over, of course. First, I'm going to demonstrate the purpose of this lat pull down. We want to make sure that we are engaging the large latissimus dorsi muscle. It is phenomenal muscle for posture, super critical to keep our back up and erect. When we're able to use our lats, it also engages the entirety of our core musculature. And unfortunately with lots of us, especially working from home, our posture gets more and more rounded forward and those lats shut off. So today we're gonna show you a way to turn them on. First off, you're gonna be grabbing the band, straight arms, pulling down, right to a neutral position and slowly coming back up. Again, one more rep. And then we're gonna break it down in some more depth here. So first and foremost, we're gonna ensure that we keep our elbows straight. Shoulder blades are gonna be back and down. And remember, we're using the latissimus muscle right through this section, okay? So when I want Dan to bring that down, we're making sure we're only engaging these muscles as opposed to using the upper arm muscles themselves. Dan, if you'll go ahead and bring that down towards your pelvis. Good, and slowly back up. Now, very important for Dan to keep the chest up and proud. Ensure, and again, shoulder blades are back and down. We'll find as we continue to go along this exercise, commonly, errors are gonna include the traps start to engage, rolling up, as you're gonna see with Dan as he goes up. This is gonna allow him to do more reps of this, but again, now we're working our upper trap muscles as opposed to our latissimus dorsi. Another common error, we start to bend through the elbow and actually pull back in that manner. Now we start to engage the rhomboids. Sometimes we're even engaging a little bit of posterior delt. Another one we're gonna see is he's gonna pull through and then extend through his triceps. So you'll see at the end of this, each of these motions get you to the same finishing point. So they may feel the same to you, but long-term they're activating completely different muscles. So Dan, go ahead and show us two more reps of an ideal lat pull down. Now what we want to do, if we're talking about activation, if, if these muscles have gone to sleep and we're doing this before an exercise, we just want to go until you feel some muscular burn, a light burn, and then go into your exercise. If that's for our phase one activation rehab. If we're past that point, we're going to technical failure. You can relax there, Dan. Technical failure is going to be when you have any of those common errors that we discussed. Also, if you've hit 25 or more reps, you're done. It's time to progress that exercise. Thank you for joining us today. And as always, if you have any questions about the exercise, comment below, message us on Instagram, or email us at info at